Hi, I'm Chris Straub, Straub Technologies, and we're going to talk a little bit about rockers and modified rockers for modified rocker geometry. Late model cylinder heads, uh, pretty much any brand you uh, buy today, uh, they've all got longer valves and they've got longer rocker arm studs. So if you think about it, you've got a valve angle and you've got a rocker arm stud angle. And both of those, if you increase the lengths, the distances between the two are actually shortened because these are intersecting angles, what you've got. So most rocker arms are based off old big block Chevrolet, small block Chevrolet, Ford geometry and stuff. And that was based on a stock stud height and a um, uh, uh, stock rocker arm or stock valve length. So with these, with these modified cylinder heads and with aftermarket cylinder heads, these lengths have changed. So at Straub Technologies, uh, we've got a rocker arm system to fit any type cylinder head aftermarket. What we have here today is our big block Chevrolet, and these actually come in two types. There's an intake rocker, and then there's an exhaust rocker. And when you look at these, they're clearly marked uh, INT for intake and EXH uh, for exhaust. And when you put these rockers together, they look fairly similar until you start looking a little bit closer. And when you look at it, you'll be able to see that when you put them together and lay them out, that the exhaust rocker, the roller wheel sticks out farther than the aluminum body just a little bit. And the intake rocker is actually inset just a little bit. So what we've done is we've adjusted the length between the fulcrum and the roller tip to accommodate for that longer rocker arm stud and longer valve because we've shortened that distance between the tops of both of those items. What this allows you to do is give you correct sweep pattern on the tip of the valve. Now for years, the industry has looked at rocker arms and using the push rod to establish proper rocker arm geometry. Well, we were actually told wrong 60 years ago. Well, it's not hard to believe that we believed the wrong thing for 60 years when the known uh, educated earth uh, thought that the earth was flat for 1400 years. So what this does is you're after the narrowest sweep pattern. You're not actually perfectly centered. And key on these is you want that sweep pattern no wider than 60 thousandths. For reference here in the United States, a penny is 57 thousandths thick. So it's great to just have a penny. So you want that sweep pattern within one third of the tip of the valve, one third of the diameter of the valve. So on an 11 32nd stem valve, you're looking at 341. So you're about 113 thousandths is where you want to put that 60 thousandths sweep. So within that 113 of center, you've got to put that 60 thousandths. So you've almost got double the area to put that sweep pattern. By using our rockers, the intake is actually a shorter distance because it generally has a 250 long valve in an aftermarket cylinder head. With our rocker, it'll adjust that sweep, it'll bring it inward, and it'll also keep it narrow. What's this gonna do for you? Well, it's gonna keep from valve guide wear. If, you're, if you look at it, your cylinder head and on the tip of the valve, that sweep pattern is perfectly centered, but it's 120 thousandths wide, I can guarantee you within 1,500 miles, it's going to knock the valve guides out of the thing. It's going to smoke like a freight train. Your neighbors will love it if you live in a climate that's got a lot of mosquitoes because it'll kill all the damn mosquitoes. But it's embarrassing when you go to the rod run because it's sm it'll smoke like a freight train. This is also going to empty your wallet because now you've got to repair the heads. You could be replacing valves. I've even had some cases where customers have dropped valves and engines and it's cost them thousands upon thousands of dollars to repair. So if, if you've got aftermarket cylinder heads, you're mocking up the rockers that you got, and that sweep pattern is not narrow, and it's not within a third of the center of the valve, look us up at Straub Technologies and get a set of our modified rockers for any V8 out there. And remember, at Straub Technologies, we don't build engines, we build combinations.